Hey, no, y'all really like me. Y'all really like me. 20,000 hours of watch time. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> I know that's right. We're gonna go renew our driver's license. Y'all are gonna see with this vlog I'm trying to upload. Man, uploading takes so, so long. Oh, thank you, you, you. It takes so long. I, I, I didn't know. Shoot. Especially now that I'm recording on my camera and it's taking more space. Oh, gosh golly. It's the worst. But, um, yeah, I'm going to the DMV to renew my, uh, my driver's license. I'm not going to do makeup because I need, I need them to recognize me in my photo. <laughs> and they're not going to be able to do so if I, if I beat my face. And I tell y'all time and time again, like, I only have, I only have one setting. It's either I beat my face or I don't beat it at all. <laughs> beat it. Oh, shoot. Beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it. The correct option is not beating it at all. I saw this tweet on Twitter um, where a girl, she screenshot her YouTube explore page and all the girlies were, were doing vlogs. And she was like, you know, basically, what's going on with YouTube? Why are all, why does everything look the same? You know, and then somebody back door and commented was like, I miss the days when people were original. And I'm just thinking to myself, it's like, y'all don't be on YouTube for real. Y'all are just talking to talk. Because one, when people are quote unquote original, y'all don't support them. That's, let's just get that out of the way. Y'all talking, but y'all don't support. That's, no, that's numero uno. Number two is content creators, although... They love their demographic. They love their audience. This is their job. So they have to go with the trends and they have to go with the times. And the times are telling them that the people want to see lifestyle. They want to see things that you do. They want to see that you people too. They want to see that you are a real one too. They want to like you for you. They want to feel like they know you. What's that? Parasocial relationships. That's what it is right now. And like, you don't have to like it. You do not You do not have to be on YouTube. The thing about it is, is that, you know, YouTube recommends things that you like. They recommend things off of the things that you've already liked. So if your explore page or your landing page all looks the same, I, what does that say about you, queen? What does, it, what does that say about you, my love? You know, like don't knock people because they're quote unquote, unoriginal or everything looks the same or this is the aesthetic that gets the people going because at the end of the day, that's exactly correct. What's that saying? If you can't beat them, join them, my nigga. Join them and or keep quiet. Keep your mouth closed. You're not helping the case at all. Talking about, talking about you, you miss when originality was awarded. You, if I speak now, don't worry about it, sweetheart. This that split. That's all there is to it. I'm not doing too much. I'm just gonna just curl the, the front, really, just to give it some some va va voom. But 
Yeah. I was going to wear a ponytail, but I'm getting my wig today, so I kind of still want to keep the braids in. But yeah, let me go put some clothes on. I'm going to be using the Versace Eros. But yeah, I don't like when people speak on things and they don't even know the half of it. Coming from somebody who watches YouTube and is a YouTuber, I see the difference. I've seen how the industry has changed. People have gravitated towards away from makeup, the makeup industry, away from, I mean, people can still do fashion hauls and design hauls and stuff like that, but most of the bulk of the people that were in those industries constantly viewing have now gravitated towards lifestyle. Look at TikTok, look at Instagram, look at these reels, look at these videos, look at these shorts. Everybody's gonna get ready with me. In these similar industries, everybody's gonna get ready with me or something regarding luxury or lifestyle. Like that's what we're seeing. So when you speak about originality, provide me with something that you wanna see. What's original that you wanna see? You wanna see fat bitches jumping off a cliff? You want Fear Factor to come back? You want us to start eating cockroaches and bull nuts? Like what's the originality that you're so you're missing so much that's really lacking with YouTube that you wanna see? I'll wait. People speak on things and they don't even support it. Y'all don't even be on YouTube. Y'all don't even support these content creators that you're making fun of or that you're showcasing. So what's tea, sis? You just bored? You mad because they getting money off of the things that you don't like? What? What is it? What's tea? And mind you, I'm not getting, you know, I just started. I just... I just got monetized. Even when I was monetized when I first started out four years ago, I didn't see that much money. You gotta meet, you gotta reach a hundred dollar threshold. I think I met, I was at 112. I was at 100, no slim, no peaches and cream. I had $112. And so like, even as somebody who's not getting paid as much as these other influencers, it's not only off of the content that they're creating, it's off of the paid internships off of brands, off of sponsorships, like, it's the business. We not business, man, we business, man. Come on now, focus, focus. I think one of the biggest things, I need to get the hell up out of here, but I think one of the biggest things that is missing, especially in our community, is support. When people feel like they're above somebody or they feel like somebody's making money for no reason, the crab mentality jumps out. The next negativity jumps out. It is absurd. It is wild. I've never seen anything like it before. And my thing is, you can be on that same level too. You can try to navigate through a different avenue, a different path. But instead, you're using the time that you have to hate on somebody else or to bicker or to complain or to create rumors or to create static. You're a weirdo. Let's call a spade a spade. Since you want to call everything out, let's call you out, weirdo. I just see these these women and these content creators working so hard, you know, because like it's a it's a job. I see them working so hard. I see them trying to. I see them beating themselves up. I see them trying to do the most. I see them getting overwhelmed, trying to push this content out and trying to give you quality content, trying to stay authentic, trying to stay true to themselves, while also trying to obtain a check and also trying to be their own business and also trying to gain traction to do what they really want to do in this life. Because nobody, nobody's dream job is to continue to work. Nobody has a dream job. They don't want to work at all. And that's the goal. And I just don't get why y'all be hating, talking about everything looks the same. Everything looks the same, but you see them views looking different. Them views looking different. People watch what they want to watch. Even if everything looks the same, they're going to gravitate towards the real. And that's not you. Let's go to the DMV. So I'm on my way. It is gloomy and rainy outside. Um, I'm a little nervous with whenever it comes to the DPS because I hate them. <laughs> uh, I think that they, any government state agency, they do their job in a manner where it's like a, oh, well, you may have sacrificed your whole day of work and taken a day off and had to take your children and had to do this, that, and the third, but you're missing a piece of mail that you should have from three years ago. And that, and because of that, you can't get your driver's license today. That's the kind of energy that I always get from them. But I'm coming with a positive mindset. I'm coming with a positive mind frame. 
I have an appointment. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be on time, hopefully. So, um, I'm just praying that I brought everything. I, I brought my passport, my social, and um, a W-2. So, with my current address on it. So, I'm just hoping that um, that is sufficient. I definitely looked online and Googled. And so, like, if they say anything, I'm not going to cap. I'm liable to mollywop somebody. I'm liable to go cuckoo for Cocoa Pops. Is this it? What is 27A? I don't see a 27A. Oh, I don't know if this is the one. I'm going to just hit. Oops, oops, sorry, sorry. Shut the f It just put, it just added like four minutes to my shit. Oh my God. Are you for real? Why is there so much traffic at 1230? That's insane. When people honk at me, I be really wanting to like get out of the car and do some damage. But like, I've seen people die from road rage. Well, not seen, but I've definitely, I definitely know people. So I try to, no, nah, I'm not gonna say I try to. I definitely have in-house road rage. I never get out of the car. I have definitely wound down my window a few times, told them to meet me on the side, stuff like that. But like, um, I've never just really just been like, nigga. Cause crazy enough, I've had a gun pulled out on me, road rage style. Like, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, stupid? What's up? Dumb b Obviously, I, don't, I didn't learn my lesson. But um, yeah, I had a gun pulled out on me during the, um, on the road. So um, this lady cut me off on the road and um, made me hit my brakes really hard. And so I then cut her off on the road and um, we just started talking shit. It was like traffic on the road. So like we were side by side to each other and I was talking shit, she was talking shit. I'm like, man, man, bleep, 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 stupid, bleep, 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 stupid, damn, bleep, 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 bleep. I was going in, I was going in. And so like, I was speeding up to catch her cause I wasn't done. I wanted to, I wanted to give her a piece of my mind. I uh, drive up to meet her. She got her gun right there. Hello! <laughs> when I tell you I break, man, my brakes have never seen so much energy on them before in their life. I braked. I said, wow. I just wasn't expecting that when I pulled up on her side. But you know what? It definitely was a lesson. I want to say for like six months, I like, I was humble. Like, I didn't say shit to nobody. I didn't, when I was mad on the road, I didn't use my horn, nothing. Because I was just like, fuck. Like, what if that lady used that thing? Like, that's crazy. She put a gun out on me. She put a gun out on me. Now serving a 0392 at counter 39. That went better than I thought it would. Woo! I got, I brought everything that I needed and I got my license. Thank God. Especially being the fact that if you've seen my previous vlog, you know that this was needed. And I still need to get my registration sticker done and then I'll be Gucci, but I'm not doing that today. I've had enough of the D DPS and legalities. Leave me alone. How I look in camera and how I think I look. I am staring at this car so bad, bro. I'm staring at this car so bad because I know the guy in it and I think he's fine as hell. And of course he's driving a Lexus. And I wanted to say his name, but we in a DMV, like, or a DPS, whatever. 
And I saw him because he has like an all denim fit on. And I was like, oh, okay, I love a denim on denim fit, especially when the denim matches each other. And then I looked at him, I was like, I know that guy. He's younger than me though. So anyways, I'm so glad I got that done. I'm so glad I got that done. I wanna go to Ulta to stock up on some to stock up on some stuff. But I don't wanna do anything until I get this video uploaded it is taking forever to upload and i was trying to and when i tried to save it yesterday so i use my um ipad to edit and i use my ipad to upload my videos and because i'm now mixing iphone footage along with actual camera footage i think that my ipad cannot take it granted it is an ipad pro however i don't think it can take it so I'm going to have to migrate or navigate to my MacBook, which I just, it's foreign to me. It's not as um, close, I would say. Uh, I get big, I get a bigger screen of the video when I'm working on my iPad. And then my iPad is just simply more portable. Um, but I can't afford for this stuff to be crashing simply because it takes forever, whether it's to export or whether it's to upload, it takes forever. And I simply, no lemonade, don't have the time. I simply don't have the time. I don't have the neck, nor do I have the time. Ramadan starts tomorrow and I'm hoping like, so while I'm at the DMV, let me just get this out there. I'm Muslim, right? My family was born Muslim. I was raised as a Muslim, I'm Muslim. Now, Am I a good practicing Muslim? No, I'm not. Do I pray five times a day? Do I not eat pork when it comes to like gummy bears and bacon? No, I be slipping the hell up. I be slipping the hell up. So like, I can't just be like, oh, I'm a good Muslim, I'm a good Muslim. But my thing is like, people be like, can you fast when you're not a good Muslim? And I'm like, y'all, y'all are Christians. In the Bible, how many things does it say you should not do and that you do? That is so odd to me how y'all just have such a high expectations for other religions, but not your religion. Very off, very off. Just like y'all be sinning, we be sinning. Like you've seen Muslims who don't wear hijabs. You've seen Muslims who be in the club. You see Muslims who be drinking alcohol. You see Muslims who be having sex. Same with Christians. Like you see Muslims who be gay. There are gay Muslims. Oh, wow. Just like they're gay Christians. I don't understand how you're um, giving yourself leeway in your religion, but there's no leeway in another. One, two, you're not the judger of all judges, so I don't even have to explain myself to you type shit. Relax. <laughs> yes, I still participate in Ramadan because I need to... One, it's what I've been raised to do. I've been raised to fast every every year for 30 years like that's just what i've been raised to do one two my mom is a devout muslim and i just couldn't do it i just could not not fast it just doesn't make any sense so i'm hoping with this season of ramadan and please don't ask me any questions about islam or ramadan please don't Please, I understand the curiosity i understand you want me to be more open about that and i and I will to my close friends, but there's Google guys like, and I'm not trying to be facetious. I'm not trying to be an ass, but there is Google. Google can go into more detail and go into more depth than I ever could. So please, if you want to know more about Islam, Muslims and Ramadan, go through your phone, go through your desktop, go through your laptop, go through your iPad, go through your tablet, go through your Kindle and search that information for yourself. But um, I'm hoping with this Ramadan, I'm more cognizant and I'm more intentional with how I move and what I consume, whether it's food or whether it's just bad vibes in general. So I'm hoping that I better myself um, regarding that. And I want to lose weight. I want a neck so bad. I want a neck so bad. So hopefully like whenever I break fast, I'll just do like a quick walk, you know, while I break fast with a banana or orange or something. Um, just so I can get my 
libido up because you know it's it's high time I stop talking more it's time I start walking start walking that walk no Santana so or Duro she can walk that walk walk that I actually want to listen to that now y'all I am sick to my stomach and I know this is like dramatic but that's what the fuck I I told myself I'll be more cognizant that's what I am I'm dramatic so there's this go to place that I always go to for my seafood mind you I haven't had seafood I haven't like I haven't a crab leg I can't even remember how long it's been since I cracked a crab leg it's been a very long time because the last time I cracked a crab leg it reminded me of my age. All that butter and all that seasoning, it didn't it didn't do, 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 go through the digestive system correctly. So I was just like, mm, Ruka, mm. So I just took a chill pill. I just took a chill pill. If I was to eat a little bit of seafood, it would probably be like shrimp. It'll just be shrimp, um, a quick 13, you know, 13 piece, and then I so um I wanted to splurge today because you know fasting is is about to begin. So I kind of wanted to do a, you know, just not a farewell, but just like, you know, just a chill little thing. Just crack my crab leg, wash some Abbott Elementary, you mind my business. So I'm calling them the places to go order, the places to go, to go order, and nobody's picking up. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll just pull up. I'll just pull up. So the whole time I'm pulling up, I'm just like, mind you, when I was calling at first, it was just going straight to voicemail. And then like it would get a busy signal. And usually when they get a busy signal, that means somebody on the phone, right? So I'm like, okay, you know, somebody there. I pull up to that mother, I pull up to that spot and it is closed due to kitchen maintenance. I bet, I about fell out. Ah. When you know when you've had your mind set on something all day, I haven't eaten since like 9 a.m. Right? And then I got like a frappuccino, a ribbon crunch frappuccino. So like I was really looking forward to this stuff. You dealing with Favo? I was really looking forward to this shit. Really just in my mind, I was just looking forward to it. And when you really looking forward to something and you cannot have it that day, you know, they may be open tomorrow, but I want it now. I want seafood now. I don't have no other taste for anything except a crab leg, a crab leg. And there's another uh, seafood place down the street, but I don't want Red Claw. I want paradise. I'm sick to my stomach, but you know what? I'm going to get paradise. I'm gonna get paradise. I mean, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get seafood. I'm gonna get a crab leg. Sorry, I'm gonna get a crab leg because that's the only thing that's on my mind right now. So, and they got garlic noodles, and I kind of want to taste the garlic noodles. I'm gonna, like, what's that about? Am I gonna put that in the crab leg bag? Like, what's tea on that? But I don't want to be too greedy because I think this place was the place that kind of threw me off my gang with the butter and the seasoning. So let me double back. I'll let y'all know what I get when I get home. All right, so I got my seafood. Got some crab, got some sausage. Fuck, I forgot to ask for eggs. I'm gonna take this as a sign. I don't need to be eating this. That's what it is. I'm gonna take it as a side. Although I'm gonna still eat, I'm gonna take it as a sign that I'm not supposed to eat. Oh shit! This crack was to be here. I know that's right. I know that's right. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna be eating this food on camera, just because it's not. It's not the seafood that I wanted to eat on camera. I had to take off my shirt because the way I eat seafood, that's why for me personally, I wouldn't be able to like, if I'm dating somebody and we're just in the beginning stages, I wouldn't be able to, he wouldn't be like, let's go get some seafood. I'd be like, mm-mm. Ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way. Because 
you would you would stop talking to me. Say goodbye. Mm -hmm. Damn, I have a hat. I know this shit gonna break me out. I know it will. I haven't had seafood. In a long ass time. Useless. Probably why my my sucking skills are so outdated. Ooh. Juicy. This shell, these, these shells are a little soft. They're not cracking. These ain't crips for real. Let me pay attention to my food. I'll see y'all later. Hey y'all, so it's been, it's been five months since you went away. Left without a word. You're too young if you don't know that song. But um, it's been a couple of days. Um, I haven't been vlogging. Really just been resting, minding my business. Um, Ramadan started. So my blood sugar, my energy is just down. The drain, one. Two, I'm trying not to get into any salacious, salacious, um, nasty little vibes because... I'm trying to be a good girl for 30 days. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to try. See, I can't even think right. I'm going to try to um, go to the Asian Mart. This is my first time going to the Asian Mart. That's the only reason why I'm picking up the phone. Because I want to take y'all with me. Um, there's this Asian Mart in Carrollton. I am looking for the two times spicy ramen and I do not want to buy it on Amazon. I think that Amazon is scamming. I think Amazon is scamming folks. I think there should be no reason I would be paying 12 to $30 for a pack of ramen noodles. That's insane. You and your mother, both. Insane. Waka waka nie. So, I'm finna go to this uh, Asian Mart in Carrollton to see if they have it. If not, because the last time I got it, it was at Walmart. So, but then I went to Walmart yesterday to try to get them, and I could not find them. Let me tell you something. I know, like, eggs should not be eaten, and, you know, the going around jokes, talking about it's expensive and stuff like that. But eggs are so damn good. Like, breakfast, eggs during breakfast time, eggs and noodles, eggs and seafood bowls. Like, who... Why are they so delicious? Why are they so delicious? So I want to make some ramen with some meat and some eggs and some veggies. Ooh. I should not be thinking about it like I'm thinking about it, Lord. But when I break fast, let me taste some, boy. Let's go try it out. Let's go see what we can find. And I'm hoping because it's an Asian market, they might introduce me to more noodles. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to go see This place is pretty fucking big. It's cool too. Wow. These are some shrimp crackers. I don't know why no shrimp chips. I ain't never been in here before. You would have thought I transported. You would have thought I traveled somewhere. Found it. Yeah. Oh, I knew I would find them here. How much are they? They got these too. So what were those? Is that the big pack? Oh, I'm so happy I came here. I'm so happy I came here. They have them all. They, have, they even have the ones in the cups. I need a basket. If I get a basket, I know that. Oh my God. 
I know I'm gonna get more than I need. Oh, bitch. And I'm thinking I need to get some, uh, some fresh shrimp while I'm out here. Oh, they got udon. Oh, shit. And then they got the regular. Nobody want this. Fried garlic. Fried garlic sounds insane. Oh. Oh, I need to come back here and experiment with some flavors. At the crawfish for three forty nine a pound. What? Oh yeah. Mm. I don't want anything to do with seashells. Oh, they got the shrimp. Oh, sh easy peel shrimp. Got everything here. Let me just go get my noodles and shut the fuck up. Let me get out of here. Oh my God, they have everything. I need to come back with the same mind when I'm not fasting. Because if I come back again, I'm liable to buy the store up. Let me just go get my noodles and go. I'm gonna get my noodles and go. Y'all, I am so lit. Like, they really had the, 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 the little, they really had the ramen I was looking for. And so this is the ramen. I love the way this shit tastes. You can use your words. I love the way these noodles taste. They just, they just taste so good. Oh, and they halal. Assalamu alaikum. Love that for me. So not only did they have this one which i thought was this is spicy already like because you are slurping noodles um your mouth area because you're slurping it is going through your lips so your lips burn after this my lips always burn after eating this but they also and crazy enough when this was going nuts on youtube i never ate them but they also had the two times spicy and the two times spicy was buy one, get one half off. That must mean people are not eating it because it's too damn spicy. But, um, oh, I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. I don't know if I'm going to mix one pack of this and one because I don't know how hot this is. And I know how hot that one is. And it's spicy. That whole is spicy. That whole is hot. I bought two packs of each, obviously, because obviously. Um, and it's just a quick and easy meal, especially when I wake up for iftar. So I don't know how hot that one is, but I know it's hot enough because when it was going up on YouTube, people was so, oh, my mouth is just salivating. Just thinking about how I'm about to turn this, turn these noodles up. Oh. I'm so excited. I think I should do no because I'm gonna be too hungry to just be having the spice rip outside of me. Go in from one end, go out the other. I'm no, no, I don't even want to go through that right now. So I kind of do though. I'm gonna just mix, I'm gonna mix one on one. I'm gonna just see how it is with one on one and then I'll go from there. That will help me gauge what I'm looking for. But I guess because I was looking for it, I, I went to the Walmart. I went to two Walmarts yesterday looking for it. And I, I don't know why it didn't click for me not to just go to the Asian market. That is so crazy. But I think that's why I'm so excited. Because one, I'm proud of myself for using my noggin. And two, not only did they have it, they had the one that I was looking for that I was going to buy on Amazon here for $6.99. And then on Amazon, it's $12.98. Who, who in their right mind will be going yet? So now, and I um, learned my lesson yesterday. I went grocery shopping yesterday while fasting. And I went in for, let me even count the things that I went in for. Cause I, I had a grocery list. I went in for 14 items, right? I left that place. And I was like, when did I spend $200? When, when did I do that? Whose money was that? Oh, I'm so lit. I cannot wait to eat these noodles. Y'all don't know. I don't know. 
if y'all eat these noodles, but I do, and they're so delicious, bro. They're so good to me, dog. Like, I love them. <laughs> like, I love them. They're delicious. I guess because I grew up on, like, instant ramen. I mean, this is instant ramen. Like, maru how you call it? Marushan or the cup noodles. Because that gives you a specific flavor, and I always have add hot sauce. I always add hot sauce to my noodles. These noodles, you don't need a hot or a sauce. You don't need sriracha. You don't need soy. All you need is your mouth and the noodle. The mouth, the noodle. I'm going on and on. I'm just so lit because I know what I'm finna eat tonight. Hold on, let me make a song about noodles. Finna go all up in my doodle. That's my throat because I'm finna slurp. Just like I do when I'm in his. Uh, and then I was so nervous going in there because I was like, oh, this is an Asian market. It's gonna be nothing but Asians. No, I should have known better. Who be cooking like the Asians do? Hispanics? They was in there cutting that meat, that fish, that shrimp. Why was I so hesitant? Bye, y'all. In all the vlogs that y'all have watched of me, how many times have I been to Ultra? Tell the truth. I think it's every vlog. But also, when did Ulta get such a cute little uh, sitting space? This is cute. Oh, let me go. You know what my problem is? I'm too easily influenced. I knew, I went in there, again, have a list. I went in there for e.l.f. makeup, beauty blenders, white concealer from LA Girl Pro, telescopic, telescopic eyeliner, and fortune cookie butter uh, butter gloss by NYX. That's what I went in there for. If you tally that up, if you tally that up, Elf sponge is ten dollars. White concealer six dollars. That's sixteen. Telescopic eyeliner, I think was eleven dollars. So that's what twenty seven. And then the butter gloss is five dollars. So I'll be spending about thirty two dollars, right? No, wrong. I spent a hundred dollars. As usual, I can never go into, and I and I told myself, I told myself, I said, Ruka, just go in there. I mean, sh just start using curbside pickup. Buy what you need and just curbside pick it up. Don't go in there looking. But I'm so easily influenced because I'm on YouTube. Monday through Friday, I am on YouTube. I am watching vlogs. I am watching shit. I am watching different, a variety of different videos that include people who are enthusiastic about beauty as I am. And so I did buy all those things, but the telescopic eyeliner was buy two, get one free. So I bought three just to stock up. Then this is what got me. These, what are these? The Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink Lips. These are what got me. These are what got me because I can line my lips with this. This is like a dark, oh, this is like a dark, I have to even show you. Am I doing it right? Look, look how dark that is. And if I line my lips with that, oh my God, I can't wait. I cannot wait. I'm gonna line my lips with that. And then I'm gonna put this one, this, what is this called? This is called charge. And these were buy two, get one free too. So I bought two, got one free. So um, this one is called Fearless. Can y'all see? Okay. Fearless. Where am I going to put this? Which is like a chocolatey. Oh my God, I can't wait. And they smooth like butter, boy. And then this one will be the middle shade that I use. And it's called Captivated, which of course, that's what the hell I am, Captivating. And then I'm just gonna put it right there. Look at that, look at that color. Of course I have to get them, they smell like makeup though. Ugh. They definitely smell like chemicals. And then I was watching um, Natasha S's vlog and she tried this blur and she said it was like the Easy Drop by Fenty and I don't like, I don't like light foundations. It's just not my cup of tea. Like, what's the point of me putting on something that doesn't hide my acne scars? That's, to me, insane. So, um, but I like the way her makeup came out. And of course, there's different layers to this shit. There's, 
there's different layers to makeup. So of course, even though your foundation may not be as full, by the time you're done with your highlight contouring your powders, it'll look different. But yeah, yeah. Went in there, looking to spend $32, $35, came out spending a hundred. I'm going home. But look at these colors though, especially this one. I'm about to tear this one up. I, I, I think I saw it on Instagram. I mean, TikTok, of course. Speaking of that, while I have you, let's chat. I'm not following it all the way through, but what's going on with the US attempting to ban TikTok in the States? Look at who you had as a previous president. There are bigger fish to fry than TikTok. Meta, the overall house of Facebook and Instagram, utilize so much of our information, but because the man is Caucasian and this man is Asian, there's now a threat to national security regarding this app. Let me tell y'all something. I was one of those people in the beginning where I was like, I'm too old for TikTok. I'm not downloading that shit, that stuff. I didn't even have Vine, but and I was I'm old enough to know what Vine was and how it was a cultural reset. That them six five six second videos were a thing, but Vine, like if all all of the popular Vines, all of the popular Vines always made their way to Twitter, so there was no need for me to get the app. All of them made it to Twitter. I don't know what pushed me to finally get on TikTok, but it was the best decision I ever made. Whenever I'm down, whenever I'm bored, whenever I'm not bored, TikTok is my go-to. TikTok and Twitter, those are my go-tos and YouTube. And now they're trying to take my happiness away from me. Y'all already still have racism. Y'all already still have inflated prices around the around the country y'all have homelessness hunger and and an air of displeasure and unhappiness and you want to aggravate that more by banning a tiktok that encompasses over 150 million you american users and then snippets of the case or the council <clears throat> It's embarrassing. You have these Caucasian people saying things and trying to catch somebody in a lie or a trap, and they're the ones looking foolish. No Ashanti, no Murder, Inc. God, hear my cry. Please, don't take away TikTok. Not from America. You saw what happened when Texas tried to take away Instagram filters? They're back. They're back. Same thing. And my thing is, same thing. And I'm hoping the same thing happens for TikTok. Texas tried to take away Instagram filters. Where, where all, I'm sorry, they took away the filters that were facial, you know, that changed facial structure. They took that away for, I think, like two weeks. And then they brought it back. God, if you don't hear anything else, I lift up my hands in the sanctuary. I lift them up to give you the glory. Don't take away my happiness. There are little, little things that make me happy in this world that don't cost money. TikTok is one of them. I should get grilled chicken. Mmm, grilled chicken. All day today, I have been telling myself, I'm not gonna spend that much money. I'm gonna be in and out. I have a list, so I'll just go off of that list and I'll be in and out. I've been lying to myself. When they tell you not to go grocery shopping hungry, listen to the people. I went to Trader Joe's. I love their beef and broccoli. It's one of their best Asian. I think it's right after orange chicken, actually. 
So I got one because I couldn't help myself. I got some grilled chicken strips I'm gonna put in my noodles and my salads. I got the corn dogs. If you know, you know, these are just quick. They have fish nuggets and I just wanted to try them. So I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try them. I don't, I, don't, I like fish, so. Oh, I got a sh uh, sriracha shrimp bowl. I was just picking stuff up. Shrimp with Asian style vegetables over brown and red rice, all topped with the spicy sriracha sauce. That sounds good. So, got that. This is good. Oh yeah, I got two different types of mac and cheese. I was just grabbing stuff. Oh yeah, if you don't go and get these, the rice, people get brown rice. Cool, 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 cool. Bad, 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 bad. I'm gonna get the white. Oh, then they had snacks in the front that I had to top. So they had cookies and cream pretzel slims. Have to try these. Can't wait to try these. Then they had these sprinkles walk into a sandwich cookie. Butter cookies filled with buttercream frosting and sprinkles. I had to try it. I had to try it. I had to get it. And then I got shrimp stir fry. I got some good stuff. All I went in there for were fire roasted veggies. They didn't have them. I went in there for the yellow dragon fruit. They didn't have them. And then I went in there for the brioche bread. They didn't have it. And then I went in there for the chicken. So the only thing that I got off of my list that was correct was the chicken. Everything else was not on my list. Was not on my list. And I got it anyway. So, that is the chicken that I even saying that I, I got for the chicken. So yeah. I can't even trust myself. So... Now that I know what I'm capable of during the day, I won't go until there's something that there's food in my mouth. Because I, I honest I obviously can't think straight because like Ruka, you're not wealthy. You're not rich yet. Like, please, please. Why is it every time you brag on a man? Why is every time you brag on a man publicly, they always turn out to embarrass you? Oh, God. My man, actor Jonathan Majors was arrested this weekend in New York and was charged with strangulation, assault, and a harassment of a woman. every time every time i like a man a celebrity man something always happens to diminish their legacy and whenever something happens it just it's just it's a domino effect it's all downhill from there and i hate to admit it but i do have to i i saw it with uh with the baby the baby came out he was you know Dancing on big fine women. He was just lovable. Everybody loved him. And then he turned out to be one of the corny, most misogynistic, homophobic losers in the in the galaxy. And it was the same, it's the same with Jonathan Majors. It's like when they're doing good, they're doing amazing. You know? I mean, the PR marketing campaign was phenomenal i think like literally after the harder they fall jonathan majors he could do no wrong and you know what this reminds me of as well nate parker i don't know if y'all remember nate parker but nate parker was that guy from uh beyond the lights with google that he was on the rise until them rape allegations came out them rape allegations came out and 
um, what was his, what was the movie that was coming out during the same time? Birth of a Nation? Something like that. So as soon as that happened, he was off the record too. And now, and I, you know what? I know this sounds um, delusional and it is, but I knew and I didn't care that Jonathan Majors likes milk. I have no problem with that. I don't see, I don't foresee myself meeting Jonathan Majors and, and, fought, and both of us falling in love with each other. I fantasize about it often, but I know well enough that that's not gonna happen. So whatever his preference is, as long as he's not putting down any other race or ethnicity, I do not care. Go for the milk if you want to. My, I'm about my business. I think you're fine as hell and you're a black man and you're, you know, you're un unconventionally attractive. So you have people who are really, really rooting for you and you have people who may be rooting for you and don't think you're attractive. And then you have people praying on your downfall. That's the, that's the way, that's the way life goes. So go be with your milk. But when you start laying hands on women, I, I just, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. My brain, my senses are telling me that if you can go around laying hands on women, that means you can do anything. Evil is around you. And Please, we always talk about this, but please normalize changing your mind when new information is presented. Yes, I'm distraught. I'm praying that both man and woman both come out and be like, yo, we were into some kinky shit. I didn't hear her say the safe word. And, you know, it got kind of crazy, it got kind of hectic. And her first reaction was to put me in the ground. But my thing is, one, why are you in a situation like that? Two, you have... In the amount, the amount of films this man has come out on, you don't think a risk like that you would try to be away from? I mean, let's talk about it. He was in The Five Bloods. He was in uh, The Harder They Fall. He was in Devotion. He was in Mar a Marvel movie, Ant-Man. He was in, uh, what was that HBO? Uh, Love Lovecraft. He was in that. He was in uh, Creed 3. Like, and then you're going to be in more films. There's more films coming out with you in it. And you decided to do this? Knowing where you are and who you are? Come on, bro. It was just February when everybody was going crazy over your Ebony issue. It was just February. It still hasn't even settled down. Creed just came out at the beginning of this month. People were fawning over you, fawning over your interviews, fawning at the way you spoke, um, greatness into people. We, we all were just rooting for you. We were rooting for you. No Tyra. And this is how you repay us? Every time you brag on a man, every time you brag on a man, that's what they do to you. This is what they do. I have to read it. It's not, it's not a lot, but it's enough. It states the actor Jonathan Majors was arrested Saturday in New York on charges of strangulation, assault, and harassment, authorities said. New York City police said that Majors starved the recently released Creed three and Ant Man and the Wasp Quantumania was involved in a the was involved in a domestic dispute with a thirty year old woman. Police responded around eleven a.m. to a nine one one call inside an apartment in the Manhattan neighborhood of Chelsea. The victim informed the police she was assaulted. A spokesperson for the NYPD said in a statement. Officers placed a 33-year-old male into custody without incident. The victim sustained minor injuries to her head and neck and was removed to an area hospital in stable condition. He was no longer in police custody as of Saturday night, which is today, the NYPD spokesperson confirmed to the Associated Press. A representative for Majors denied any wrongdoing by the actor. He has done nothing wrong, the representative said in an email to the AP on Saturday. We look forward to clearing his name and clearing this up. Although I don't have a problem, who am I to have a problem with who anybody dates? I do, I could care less about who anybody dates. However, as a black man, as a black man, look at your history. Look at your history with Caucasian women. Look at it. 
time and time, you know, um, on social media, you know, social media is very, very loud. So on social media, men always jump at the prospect of something being a false allegation. Oh, it's a false allegation. She lying on his name. She lying on his name. 98% of the time, mind you, false allegations when it comes to, um, you know, very dark, when it comes to dark things, I won't, you know, say it, but when it comes to assault and, you know, things of that nature, false allegations are very rare. It's about, I want to say 7%. And don't quote me, but I think it's 7% of all accusations, allegations are false. 7% single digit. That's number one. Number two, out of that 7% of false allegations on social media, on these platforms, guess the race of the one making the false allegation. It's notated and etched in history that these type of women scream from the top of their of their foul mouths knowing that their word would be heard over yours and yet y'all continue to dive into the milk y'all continue your brothers you see it's etched in history look at Emmett Till take that back and the women too Two cuffs and a breath away from death want to go come out and say that she was lying that entire time. And y'all don't see that this is dangerous for you? That as soon as they want out, as soon as they want to mess up your lives, they will scream anything that they want to scream. Not saying that this was false. I don't, I, I have no idea. I personally believe all, all victims until it comes out that they're lying. I'd rather be made a fool of by supporting than immediately knocking. Me personally. I don't mind. And another thing is that I don't mind saying that I'm wrong. I have no problem with that. But I also I also feel empowered when I gather new information and I change my mind. Oh, Ruka, but you were just saying you're right. However, I've, you know, received new information and I've changed my mind. I don't mind. I don't mind that at all. I just, I just, I really, he was just, if this is true, if what is going on is true, of course, more of it's going to come out. That's one. Two, it, I, I was being lied to as, as a fan, as a fan, it, it feels like betrayal because this PR, this whole PR reel that Jonathan Majors was on because he was in so many movies, so he could not be out of the limelight. He had to do these things. We're all positive. He was speaking life into people. He was appreciating people. When people were coming at him at the Valentine's issue, saying that he was feminine and they were trying to make him gay, da, 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 da. and he was like, masculinity is vulnerability. And you know, when he was giving Michael B. Jordan's his flowers and when he was interviewing and he just encompasses warmth, that was all a lie because you beat bitches? Where's the warmth when you have your hands around somebody's throat? And then it ruins films for me. I loved The Harder They Fall. I loved Creed Three. Y'all saw it in my last vlog. I loved that movie. But it's like, you are at the pinnacle. You are at the top of stardom. So not only are you already in so many movies, so many doors were beginning to open for you. It was like a blossoming flower. So many things were happening. And you, in the heat of the moment, not knowing, not understanding all that's at stake, found yourself with your hands around your girlfriend's neck and you didn't think that shorty was gonna ruin that for you you didn't think she was going to be like oh no come get dame out of this house you didn't think it was gonna come out
I'm sick to my stomach. By the time this vlog comes out, of course, everybody's already going to have their thoughts. So I want to know your thoughts when you heard this news. When you heard this information that Jonathan Majors was arrested for assaulting, strangling, and harassing a 30-year-old woman. Can't put your trust in now, nigga. What did what did Kaya say? Hello, friends. It's the next day. Um, I'm getting ready to go have dinner with my friend. So I'm about to wet this hair. I just got a new wig. It's a deep wave wig. So I'm just going to um, wet it, put some product in it, and then shower and get ready. We're going to this place called Carbone. Never been before, but I think this will be the first time that I go to dinner with my friend and I bring my camera out um, because I need to get used to it. It's a vlogging camera. I'm not going to be vlogging in my house all day, every day. So I want to get used to taking that, lugging that thing outside. And I need to kind of change my viewpoint on it, you know? It, it isn't that big, it's just compared to my phone, it is different. So um, I'm just wanna push myself through that. So I'm definitely going to take it out for the first time, take it for a spin. But when I was talking about, um, you know, my hesitation of bringing out the camera, my friend Jasmine was like, she saw a TikTok where a woman had like this pocket camera by DGI, I think, DJI, Digi, maybe, I don't know, but it's perfect. I need to, I'm gonna save my money and buy that too. It is perfect, it is so small. It is small and compact. I'm gonna, I'm gonna link it or I'm gonna put it so you can see. It's like literally so small and I would be more comfortable and it has 4K quality um, camera, something, something, something. So I would be more comfortable carrying that around and just, you know, than my camera. But also on the other end, and I know this kind of sounds kind of vain or whatever, but I kind of, <laughs> I kind of want to have, you know, the Sony out and just like be vlogging for real because, I mean, we live in a new time, you know, and a new time consists of an industry that wasn't open to our predecessors, the last generation before which is content creation. So like, you know, just because I'm not used to it, others outside are used to it. Others are outside, others outside are used to people having their cameras out, recording and stuff like that. So, and another thing is that, you know, people do in fact, sometimes mind their business. Hmm, we should get a load of that. So yeah, let me, um, I'm just gonna, it's, a, it's given, this is from Kendra's Boutique. It's given a little frizz and frazzle, but I bought from them before, but I haven't bought their deep wave before. So oh, da, ka, ka, ka. we'll see. Um, we'll see. But yeah, let me get ready y'all. And I'm gonna take y'all with me. I'm going to switch to my camera uh, once I finish taking a bath and um, letting this wig marinate. All right, y'all, I've been, playing with this camera and I just, I'm over it. So, yeah, so I tried to make a TikTok, but it came out sounding corny. One thing I always hated doing is promoting myself. As soon as I feel like I sound like one of them people who's like, who do you use for your internet in Walmart? I'm over it. And that's what the TikTok sounded like. It sounded like, I was trying to sell myself. And, I mean, I am, but, you know. Anyway, I really came up on here because I wanted to use myself as an example of when you're wrong. <laughs> so, yesterday, I was in I was in an emotional frenzy because the love of my life, the love of my fake life, Jonathan Majors, 
um, was arrested for harassing, strangling, and assaulting his girlfriend. And so I made a TikTok and then, of course, came on here yesterday and was just like, you know, when you date a certain demographic and you have that in you, when you... I was basically not victim blaming, but I was, you know, emphasizing the fact that he was dating outside of his race. And I saw when I woke up this morning, I saw some tweets where it was like, what really bothers me is when a black man is outed for abuse and his victims are white women. People try to turn into try to turn it into pro black discourse. This is why you should stay away from white women. So it's and then it says, so it's black women that deserve to be beaten up. And um the reason why I say I was wrong in my initial discourse is because I definitely did that. I was like, man, that's what you that's what happens when you date a white woman. And I wasn't of course I wasn't going against grand like black women uh tend to stay more silent when they're beaten or um black women deserve to get beaten up. That's not what I was saying at all. I was going off of history and saying that, you know, when you date outside your race, um Anything's liable to happen. When you date outside your race specifically towards a certain demographic, anything can happen. And so um, I just wanted to come out here and be like, I understand that other aspect because that's what it looks like when you, you take away from the person that was assaulted and you put the power back into the man. And I don't ever want that to be a thing for me. I want you to always understand that the victim, whether man or woman, or non-binary, um, if they say something has happened, I'm going to believe them until concrete evidence has come out. And I don't want words, especially words, passionate words, when you're um, feeling something to contradict what I really mean. And the basis of what I'm saying is that, so it came out today that the, the person who pressed charges on uh, Jonathan Majors recanted her statement. She said what she was saying was false. Um, she was in emotional distress. And, you know, she... Supposedly the assault happened on Friday. And then she went in the next day to report it. And then they arrested him. So his um, attorney was saying that, hey, we got the proof. We got written statements from the driver and witnesses. We have a video showing that he hasn't... Uh, assaulted her or harassed her but in the wake of this information others have come up saying that Jonathan Majors is in fact abusive is in fact a mean man and is in fact an asshole so like whether this charge is taken away the damage has been done my fantastical view of that man is is jaded now it's scarred now no Lion King and it sucks because is this zoomed in It sucks because I was just bragging about this man yesterday. I was saying that whenever he poses with his legs open, they are inviting me in. They want me to come in there. I bought a new one of this, actually. I'm so disappointed in that man. And my thing is, you're at the pinnacle. You're at the one of the heights of your career. Why would you do this? And then it begs the question, have you been doing this? And it just came out now, you know? It always be the ones you least expect. I mean, he was going on these shows and these interviews saying this, that, and the third. He from Dallas. He's a pastor's kid. I should have known. I should have known. I should have known. I should have known. And even if it does come out to be false, what hasn't been reported? Who have you paid off? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so many different moving parts now that something like this has come out. Especially when a fan base, you know, is riding with you and then all of a sudden, and it's like at the pin, like at the top, top, top. I haven't seen in a very long time. An actor like this, a black actor like this who's had such a great run. I'm talking about movie after movie after movie after movie, including a Marvel film. That's guaranteed Guala. It doesn't matter if it was Ant-Man or it doesn't matter if it was Thor. It was guaranteed 
Guala. And you're ruining that off of the heat of the moment, off of being an abusive bastard? That's crazy. Jonathan, how could you? How could you? You've ruined it. You've ruined my fantasy. Oh, God. I'm just so disappointed in that man. Why am I giving, um, am I giving, like, Black Morticia Adams? I'm not giving that. I feel like I'm giving that right now. Anyway, I got ready. I got ready early. I'm so proud of myself. I don't know if I'm going to wear, ooh, like these, but they don't really go on a lot. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Beauty store uh, come in clutch every time, and these are kind of, yeah, these are kind of thick. I got ready early, and I'm so proud of myself. Um, it is 6 o'clock, and the reservation is not until 8. I've never done this. I've never done I guess because it's a Sunday, and I've had time to, like, deco. And I didn't go anywhere yesterday. I think that was a big one. I didn't go anywhere yesterday, and... Um, I had time to just rest, rest and chill. And so, I did want to get to the restaurant early because, again, this is going to be me, my first time taking my camera out. And so, I did want to get, like, some footage of the restaurant and stuff. My outfit is just a black dress. It's nothing special. And I'm going to wear my fuchsia mules because they're comfortable. And I don't know. I don't know this place, so I don't know if we're going to be walking or anything, but... I just can't believe Jonathan, man. I can't believe that, man. Why he do that? Why did he do that? I'm a straight, I'm a straight bro gal. I am. It does it for me. I'm sold. But yeah, y'all. I am a content creator going out and getting some content. Look at me. Look at me. Hold on. I'm blogging. I'm still in my car though. Um I am 30 minutes early to our reservation, which is kind of where I wanted to be because I was hoping to get a little bit of footage of the actual place. Um, so I just parked in a random spot, but I am going to go and do, I said curbside, valet. Um, I just needed, I just wanted to change my heels because you know, them motherfuckers, they, they, uh, they be wanting you to get out of the car. They give you a ticket, get out of the car and I can't. I don't know about y'all, but I prefer not to drive in heels. I'm already, my, it's just, I prefer not to drive in heels. So, I'm going to change my heels and then I'm going to go over there. And then I'm going to take my camera with me. Oh, why is this so nerve-wracking to me? I'm trying to get my ankle. Why is this so nerve-wracking to me? Like, I don't know, but it is. But, what we going to do? it anyway because who gonna beat our ass absolutely nobody so uh, these are the heels i told you i was wearing my fuchsia heels um so and then i got my valentino bag my first this was my first um luxury purchase quote unquote i know it's not like a brand brand everybody just like ysl or gucci or anything but it it was a, it was it was not it was not cheap i mean it wasn't thousands of dollars but isn't cheap anyway i am procrastinating because i am nervous and i don't want them to be like oh no baby you you cannot be here 30 minutes early to your reservation like get the fuck out <laughs> um but yeah i'm gonna just change my shoes and then we're gonna go to carbone <laughs> So, the person at the front said I can't record. Um, so, I'm in the corner waiting on my friend. She told me I can't do flash photography. And I was just like, oh, I just want to get the 
the vibe and she was like mm, no but i don't think she was sure for real i think she was just saying no because i'm black i always um default to race like it's always because i'm black you know what i'm saying like i just feel like if i was like a big influencer if i was like looked a different way it wouldn't be an issue that's just me personally though and this is exactly why I don't be wanting to carry this big ass camera around because now I can't even really just do much with it. But I won't let this deter me. I won't let this deter me. I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. And this place is so pretty. It's so pretty. I want to get a video of it. I'll get it on my phone. But yeah, that's how my first time bringing my camera out went. So fun. So, Carbone was good. I am pleasantly surprised. Like, and I had really good conversation with my girl. Um, it was just that I couldn't record anything in there. I think I'm gonna wait until I get home because this, this lighting sucks. I'm gonna wait till I get home. See y'all in a minute. All right, y'all. I'm back in the house. Um, so Carbone in Dallas, I would rate it a. 7.7 .7 out of 10. I personally don't like or go for uh, going out to Italian places simply because um, I like more seasonings and more meat in my dishes. Whereas Italian is very cultural, cultural, and you know it's they do you know very much use those raw and fresh ingredients. But honestly, I don't mind a little Tony Saturans in my shit, Lilaris. I don't mind it. So I think I would I only deduct points because I was biased. However, the customer, the the service, a one. It was like a family thing. So you didn't have just one waiter. You did have a, a main waiter, but everybody was coming to your table. Everybody was, and like I didn't have to ask for anything. Water was always replenished. Plates were gone. It was just it was really really good. I love that. Um, the company with my friend was great. We had a great talk. It usually just, it's, it's always about, it always tends to lead to like self-awareness about where we want to be, our goals and stuff. And of course, like dating and men in general. And, you know, um, for me, it is a little hard because, you know, there's a difference between being alone and lonely, but, um, I have like, because I haven't just, you know, had or been in love, it kind of begs the question, will I ever be, will I ever find someone for me? Will someone ever find me, you know? And so it always just goes back to that. And um, I want to be, you know, I love men. I love men. But I want to be equally yoked. I want somebody to uh, be a catalyst towards my growth. And, um, you know, it's hard out here. For a pill when you try to get the money for the rent for the Cadillac and cash money spent will cause a whole lot of bitches jumping ship. Very much hard knock life type shit. So um we talked about that and you know um she was like when was the last time you've been on a date? And I couldn't even remember. I think it was like 2021. And I don't even think that was a date for real. I think it was just like a meetup for us to just go do the nasty, nasty after. No boosie. Like, I don't even really think it was a date. And um, as somebody who's a hopeless, helpless romantic, to not receive romance in the way that I would like is kind of, you know, disheartening, you know. 
especially because I'm I'm a trick, you know. I, I want to spend on somebody that I really like. I want to take them out. I want to be creative, think outside the box, think about different dates or think different things that they would enjoy, stuff like that. And I can't even do that. And, you know, I'm okay with that because I know that I could do that for my friends. Um, but it's that time where, you know, the loved ones you're surrounded by are settling down, are taking those things. And so that's why the dating and the men aspect is always in the forefront of my mind because as time goes on, that's just the inevitable. And will the inevitable happen for me type shit. So, you know, definitely kind of eye-opening as well as like, I don't want the same thing to be done over and over again, you know? And it's like, I have to ask myself, I don't even remember the last time I actually liked somebody. Like I actually was giddy. I wanted to see their name on my phone. I wanted to FaceTime them. I wanted to, I thought about them all the time. I don't remember the last time that has happened for me. And it didn't even have to be on a romantic level, even a lustful level. Cause like these men, don't garner my attention. They can't even hold my attention span, you know? And so you, one of the things that my friend and I were talking about is that the common denominator in a lot of these situations is ourselves. So, of course, we have to look inward and be like, is it me? And, you know, of course, as somebody who's continuously growing and understanding her flaws and unlearning so much, of course, there's a percentage. But that other percentage is greater. And it's also these niggas. It's also these niggas. But during this season, I'm just going to lower my gaze. You know, I'm just going to mind my business and try to focus on my passion. And um, focus on uh, obtaining a certain level of freedom that allows me to spoil my friends and trick on my friends since I can't trick on these niggas because these niggas not worth it. They're undeserving. Um, and I don't mean that in, you know, just like a niggas ain't shit type of way. I mean that in a niggas ain't shit type of way. Never mind, I'm not. Niggas ain't shit. No, I'm just joking. But, um, yeah. Anyways, I got sidetracked because uh, definitely was thinking about that and definitely kind of like it's in myself. It's always a, a reoccurring type of topic in my head. Like, what's loving a nigga like? What's that about, you know? And like, this is kind of the t time I wish I liked girls or something. Like, so I can expand my search, you feel me? <laughs> but anyway, um... I know this vlog wasn't as action-packed as a lot of the other ones, so forgive me. I'm just kind of like getting a reset, getting my bearings as Ramadan enters, and focusing on um, me. So, you know, I hope you enjoy it anyway. I hope you enjoy this vlog anyway, and I'll see you in the next one.